Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ron Engelstad here, Citadel, Minnesota, and I'm continuing my search for uh, cheap rival ammunition. And this is from a company off of Amazon that had free shipping, and but it just took a long time, and it was nine dollars or eight dollars for a hundred, and got them a couple days ago, and I've been messing with them and testing them, and uh, yeah, they're definitely ones to avoid. All the reviews on Amazon were good, so that's what made me want to buy them. But they have an R on them, which is fine. Don't mind the R. But the coating is completely different than Nerf, uh, Dart Zone, or Headshot. Um, it's almost powdery. It doesn't seem like it has like the same uh, like rollability like in a hopper that uh, the other ones have, and they are just smaller. I tried to set up an example here to show that it's not the blue one that would roll, it's the other one, but they're just a hair, Let's see if I can get to show, they're just a hair smaller, so like when you put it in a Kronos, and you like when you put in a Nerf, or you know, the other rounds into a Kronos, you, you kind of feel like the little bit of, you know, push against it to because it pushes against the walls and feels like it has a good seal these just drop right in and when they fire they fire very soft so there is some eighth sixteenth thirty seconds of an inch difference between the size um, I don't have a caliper I guess that might be one of the next tools to buy a uh, machine caliper for measurement um, and they definitely are a little bit lighter than the nerf official or the dart zone or the headshot so, uh, I can't pronounce the name. It was, like I said, just a cheap one off of Amazon. Um, even the dimples, the dimpling, is coarser. So that means there's fewer dimples than the Nerf brand, which is fine if they wanted to try something different. But I don't know if that means the manufacturing was cheaper or less efficient or what. But... This is one, um, if you see them like this with an R, uh, I'd avoid them. I'm, just, I'm trying to find, like I said, uh, if you're just going to buy 100 or 200, you, know, you might as well go with the headshot or the dart zone or the proton rounds from out of darts or something like that. But when you're looking to buy thousands of rounds, you're trying to find a cheap option. Um, I guess I'm reaching the threshold of where to buy. I mean... Um, 14 cents a round, yeah, doesn't sound too bad, but when it's, they shoot 8 rounds per second in uh, uh, like a uh, Prometheus or Nemesis or uh, some of the newer blasters, I mean, someone shows up with a proton pack to your Nerf Club, that's going to clean out your whole supply when, for one loading. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'm just coming to the conclusion that the threshold you want to be at uh, for price, for value, it might be around that uh, 13, 14 cents per round. So, uh, definitely one to avoid, um, unless you are really looking for soft ammunition that will not perform well. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't pronounce it. It's just all, uh, yeah, some kind of weird, um, oriental name. So, there you go. Um, uh, definitely... Pay attention when you're buying your rounds, I guess, is the takeaway from the video. Um, go with the ones that uh, the people have already researched because I'm not having much more luck than uh, than what they must have had when they start recommending uh, Headshot, Dart Zone, and some of the other bigger names because the smaller names just aren't holding up. So, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.